As the pandemic wages on, we've really seen an increase in the use of technology. Now, both in helping us keep in touch with doctors, appointments, and other services, but that increase can also be challenging for older generation who may struggle using all the new technology. So I went to Anthony Cirillo, president of the Aging Experience, to learn how we can help ease some of that frustration. Let's get right into it. This could be very, very tough on older folks right here, the technology and comfort. Oh, a absolutely. So, you know, if you're looking, you know, we just had the, the holidays and now we're into a different season and they're, you know, they're always pushing the latest and greatest technology. But the question becomes, do you have the foundation? Are you, are you going from a push button phone, you know, to to the uh, iPhone 13 or are you going to, you know, from a flip phone? So what's your foundation? So you really have to understand if you're buying a gift for yourself or for a loved one, are you ready for it? And that's where when if you're a caregiver, we talk a lot about caregivers. Uh, are you ready to step in? Because if you give a, somebody something, like right now, smart TVs obviously are going to be mm -hmm. a big thing. You get a smart TV and you know, you used to go up to the TV and actually change the buttons that way, right? So what's the comfort level? And realize that if they don't have a comfort mm -hmm. level and abandon this, you're gonna have to step in and, and help them. My mom and my mother-in-law experience this right now. Technology is kind of overwhelmed a little bit. So how can we make them a little bit more comfortable? Well, I, I think the first thing is is you need to buy something, first of all, that you're comf comf comfortable with, right? So today, believe it or not, you know, my wife wants me to go out to the store and help her pick out a smartphone. So I've become the default IT guy in the house. But when you're going out, you have to ask, what is it that you want to do with these things? You know, my wife likes to play games on these. My mother was 94 and she was on Facebook, right? And it was more to spy on me, but that's a whole nother story. Uh, you know, what do you want to do with these things? And that'll determine kind of what kind of technology you want to employ couple just guide rules you don't want to get a refurbished technology of any kind because they don't know if they have an operating system that's going to support apps and zoom and facetime and all these things that you're going to use you know if they're the things you want to use make sure the phone can support them so it's best to buy better and not try to buy refurbished because you could set yourself up for a lot of trouble so if i happen to give one of my loved ones a gift who's older uh and it's high tech, am I responsible to teach them how to use it? <laughs> it depends, <laughs> it depends. So uh, you should at least try to help them. So, you know, put a cheat sheet together because look at the things that you and I probably on a daily basis, we forget our password. So even when you're setting up the phone, make sure they know how to set it up. Give that extra email, give whatever other security questions they want so that if you lose anything, they can recover. But it's simple stuff like how do you swipe or how do you, mm. how do you, what's an app? How do I download? How do I turn this off? What's airplane mode? You know, you can get crazy. So it's best to have a cheat sheet, but there's also technical services. If you have a son, a grandson who's technically savvy, maybe they can come over and help uh, or, you know, find a local kid, you know, in your church or whatever. And sometimes you could even share your screen with others technically and and they could actually walk you through things and there's more classes that are jumping on online to, to help you with this okay so whether we have a smartphone or we have an iPad or some high-tech device what are the biggest considerations when starting to navigate this device well you, you certainly want to know how to use the basics so again uh, people want to use FaceTime. So how do you how do you do that? How do you Zoom? Uh, how do you you know uh, <laughs> you, you have, everybody can stream on their phone now? How, how do you get to that Netflix? How do you get to Amazon Prime? So you know it's all those types of things that are basic services. That if you want to use the phone effectively, but guess what? You may just want a phone. You know, you might just want to text, but and even that could be a dilemma. So are you a texter? Are you still the yes. old phone? You know, pick up the phone and use it. So sometimes maybe the flip phone is the best technology for you, but it really depends on what they want to do with it. It's going to depend on what you get and, and the orientation around it. Okay, Anthony, what if someone doesn't have anyone to rely on? and they need assistance, what do you do then? Well, there's some companies out there, there's one called Go Go Quincy uh, that you can go to. They'll help you with Netflix, how to set up an iPad, passwords, learning the text, organizing your photos, something we haven't talked about yet, but organizing your photos, mm -hmm. what's a pop-up, how do you get rid of it, you know, all kinds of things like that. So sometimes those types of things are, are worthwhile to get. They're usually inexpensive. AARP has technical assistance as well that you could probably find online. So there's, you know, again, 
but you still have to first know that basic thing. How do I search? Yes, how do I do all and, and so how do I search to get to that? And I think once you do that, you'll find some of the services that can help you. So where can people turn to get support and help? So um, you could go to my site, The Aging Experience, certainly if you have any questions. I'm sort of a conduit between the information and the actual resources that are out there and can point people in the right direction. Yeah, make sure you go to that, theagingexperience.com, right? Great. Right. Because it could be very overwhelming. Thank you very much. Absolutely.